Hello everyone. Today I'm at Brown's, Suzuki, Fuso and Subaru in Clare, County Donegal. As usual, all additional information about this dealership will be mentioned in the description box below. Hello everyone. Today I'm going to give you a full and net tour of this 2003 Super Impreza 30th anniversary. In this review, I'm going to be looking at the interior of the car. I'll explain how all the features work. Also, start up, look at the engine, go over the performance data, and take a look around the exterior. So today we begin a review at the exterior of the car. The 30th anniversary does come with this very rare and exclusive dark blue. It also comes with these 17-inch, 12-spoke, gold OZ alloy wheels. This one does come equipped with front and rear mud flaps. It does have frameless windows. Very spacious interior. Legroom and headroom is very good. It's very comfortable seats as well. This one also comes with a WRX spoiler and an integrated third brake light. And a 30th anniversary plaque. Good enough size boot. Plenty of room for any everyday items. This one does come with this red aftermarket rug. Previous owner must have installed. Also has an integrated third brake light in the back window. Cap. The front seat has been moved back a little bit, but even so, legroom isn't too bad. There's very comfortable rear seats. And these even has these child seat anchor points that I pointed out in my last review. Lower front fog lights. That's the Subaru WRX HUD scoop. Glass in the door panel, as well as black, soft touch plastic. Four electric windows, the safety switch for the rear windows and your power locks, lower storage and speakers and all the door panels. You also have your boot release, fuel fluid cap release and bonnet release. So that's a small storage area or it can be used as an ashtray. 
as well as your front and rear fog lights and controls for the fog lights. We also have manual adjusting, class seats on both front seats as well as manual lumbar. Also has white stitching. I reckon this Impreza has seen better days to be honest. It does feel a little worn out. It does have pretty high mileage as well, 119,541 miles to be exact. This is a very basic Impreza. It only has so much on it. It has a cup holder, as well as a CD radio. Small storage shelf. It also has air conditioning. Different zones. Recycling and your heat settings. Also has a 5-speed manual transmission, which just runs through the gears. Over to the right and down for reverse. Also has brown stitching and a leather gear stick. Soft touch handbrake. Also have your power mirror controls down here in the center console. storage area as well. Also makes a good armrest. Decent size glove box. So a digital clock. Some visor with no vanity mirror on it. There is a vanity mirror on the passenger side. It does have very comfortable and supportive class seats with white stitching as I mentioned earlier. You also have your cigarette lighter and ashtray as well as a soft touch, smooth steering wheel. Very responsive. So let's see how the Impreza sounds. Rest at about 4,000 RPM. The engine in this Impreza is a 1.6 litre petrol. It's a four cylinder, 16 valve engine. Produces 106 brake horsepower and has an estimated top speed of 109 miles an hour. Has a zero to 60 time of nine seconds. It's a multi-point fuel injection system. You can get about 37 miles to the gallon. So just before I finish up the review, I'd like to give my own personal views on this car. The 30th anniversary Impreza is a very rare car. I could find no reference to this car at all on Google. All I came up with were special edition Imprezas and a 30th anniversary Subaru Legacy and that's about it. I didn't find anything specifically uh, representing Subaru Impreza 30th anniversary at all, so it must be a rare car.
so I've never seen anything like this before. It is a very basic interior, so it is. It has the CD radio, aircon, your power mirrors in the center console, and four electric windows, and cloth seats, and that's about it. But as most Super Impressive fans will tell you, the whole idea of a car like this, a sports saloon, is just the fun and thrills it gives you when driving. Because they, these are a lot of fun to drive, as a matter of fact. I know a fella who owns an Impreza just like this, and he says even though the interior of the car is basic, it's just a tremendous amount of fun to drive. It's good fun off-road, has a brilliant four-wheel drive system, and really, that's about it. Feeling this car is quite low, so we'll just power it off. I reckon this car has seen better days, to be honest, but nevertheless. I should also mention the Impreza does come with a 4 star safety rating. I still do like the exterior quite a lot. Dark blue is nice and I do like the gold alloy wheels. So basic or not, I still love Imprezas just like this. And if I keep finding them, I'm going to keep reviewing them. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed this full and net tour of the 2003 Super Impreza 30th Anniversary. Please remember to rate, comment and subscribe, and please stay tuned, there are plenty more videos to come. Thanks everyone.